she has turned perfectionism in the home into a worldwide media empire. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the life and career of Martha Stewart. Every kind of form. This don't is don't to mess make, it up. These are, oh, are you're they in a certain order? Well, you're, yeah, you're messing up. That makes you crazy, doesn't it? Yep. The whole idea. <laughs> Martha Helen Kostyra was born August 3rd, 1941, in New Jersey. Her Polish-American upbringing was filled with cooking, sewing, gardening, and other traditional pursuits. She started a moderately successful modeling career at age 13, and ultimately won a partial scholarship to attend Barnard College in New York due to her good grades. Stewart eventually earned a double degree in history and architectural history. Eventually, she cultivated a talent in business and worked as a stockbroker between 1967 and 72. Soon after, she and her family moved to an old farmhouse in Connecticut. She undertook the restoration of that house, and during that time, she discovered her penchant for decorating. By the late 1970s, she started a thriving catering service. This led to a chance encounter with a book publisher who was impressed with her skills and offered her a book deal. In 1982, Martha Stewart Entertaining was released and launched this domestic goddess's empire. Remember, however you choose to decorate your Thanksgiving table, special touches are always going to be appreciated by your family and your friends. In fact, that book became the best-selling cookbook since Julia Child's Mastering the Art of French Cooking. Stewart became famous for her labor-intensive recipes and craft projects. Throughout the remainder of the 80s, she released other popular books, including Martha Stewart's Hors d'oeuvres, Weddings, and Martha Stewart's Christmas. In 1990, the first edition of Martha Stewart Living magazine was released, with Stewart acting as the magazine's editor-in-chief and lifestyle guru. Three years later, Stewart launched a weekly television series that brought her magazine to life, and that was quickly expanded to a daily program accompanied by various network holiday specials. Martha Stewart's lifestyle empire was growing rapidly, and in 1997, she created Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia by consolidating her various creative media ventures. She became chairwoman, president, and CEO, and this move solidified the Martha Stewart brand even further. Stewart was briefly made a billionaire when Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia went public on the New York Stock Exchange in 1999, though she has remained a majority shareholder. Stewart's star lost some of its shine after she was accused of insider trading at the end of 2001. In New York today, Martha Stewart was indicted on criminal charges relating to an insider trading scandal that began more than a year ago. Stewart allegedly sold hundreds of shares of InClone Systems stock one day before news was made public that the company's new cancer drug had not been approved by the FDA. After much media attention and scrutiny, Stewart was formally charged. This prompted her to step down as CEO of her company, ahead of her trial. In March 2004, she was found guilty of conspiracy, obstruction of justice, and two counts of making false statements. A few months later, she was sentenced to five months in a minimum security prison and a $30,000 fine. And some salt mm -hmm. and some pepper. Do you ever and hear then... from any of the cons? She served an additional five months of house arrest at her home in New York. Shortly before her release, NBC revealed that Stewart would star in two new shows on the network starting in 2005. She appeared in a spin-off of Donald Trump's Apprentice, and she launched a new daytime talk show, which was the beginning of her much-publicized comeback. Just peel the skin off. Oh, see? you want me to take the skizz in yeah, off of it? The My skizz bad. in. She also began releasing a number of new books and expanded her brand even further with houseware and product lines at various department stores. In 2010, the Martha Stewart show moved from syndication to the Hallmark Channel, and the next year she introduced another new show on that channel called Martha Bakes. Oh, it looks so good. Martha Stewart has been a magnet for criticism throughout her career. Many have felt she set an unrealistic example for working mothers and that her ideal of perfectionism in the home was a step backward. So what happens if you're sick? Do you, then you'd I'm, stay I'm in never bed. sick. You're never sick? Why get sick? It's a waste of time. However, her shrewd business sense, unparalleled work ethic, and talent for decorating have garnered her an ultra-loyal following. And that's a good thing. They said to use my thumb, but I've been thumb printed like a lot of times, and I'm not... <laughs> I'm not going there!